Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dylan and I run the tennis channel Tennis with Dylan. Today I'm going to be talking about how you can accelerate your footwork when loading correctly. I'm going to give you one specific exercise that's going to help you to maximize not only your ground strokes, your volleys, but also your returns. Check it out now. So let's get straight into it. What you want to focus on doing after your split step is initiating your step out when loading. This is going to help you to step down the court when driving through your shots. To maximize the full potential, you want to make sure that you step and load on your outside leg so that you can push forwards. This happens on the backhand side as well. After the split step, you're gonna step out before stepping down the court. When generating maximal power, you want your body weight shifting forwards as much as possible. If you're finding that your body weight is going backwards when leaning, therefore you're not gonna get as much power because your weight is going backwards. If possible, let's try to imagine split step, step out and step in. You want to keep that weight on your front foot after you finish your shot. Even if you're pushed out wide, you want to drive out with your outside leg before shifting in forwards towards your target. What you want to imagine is that you are on a rocking horse. So as you can see, after you split and you load out, you want your body weight to be transferring forwards down the court. Can you see how I'm rocking on a horse? I'm shifting my weight from high, low, high. Watch my front toe carefully. I'm going from my heel to toe, heel to toe. And I would usually call this heel, toe, tip, toe. Because here I'm firing from my hips towards my target. I'll show you a few demos. Split, step out, heel, toe, tip, toe. As you can see, my body weight is transferring forwards down the court, even for the shorter balls. Likewise, this is very common for your backhands as well. When you turn and step out, you can already see where my weight is going to go. It's pushing from that back leg, driving down forwards towards my target. What I don't want to do here is split and step across my body and therefore I'm locking off my hips, not going to generate as much power and I'm definitely not going to get any forwards weight transfer into my shots either. Here's a great video from coach Brian DeVall and his student Federico Gomez who is a Division 1 player. As you can see he's stepping down the court when striking on his backhand. The second part I talked about is the volleys, making sure that you have a low wide base, feet wider than shoulder width apart. Exactly the same after you split step you want to initiate your step with out, loading on the outside leg before transitioning down towards your target. Same thing with the forehand, split, step out and step in. You can go through this pattern and work on it yourself. It's like you're moving like a right angle. You're going first out before stepping forwards. So I would split, load out and step in. Sometimes you can step forwards a little bit more if you want to cut the angle off and really transition towards the net. I see a lot of this happening in doubles for the intercepting volley, but it's commonly used, especially when wanting to move forwards on your volley when executing and moving consistently. Check out my footwork here. Split, step out, step in. Same again on the forehand. Split, step out, step in. Focus on being light and agile on your toes, always staying on the balls of your feet and not trying to rush ever through your volleys. The more lighter you're on your toes and the more explosive and dynamic you can be when moving forwards is going to help you to carry much more dividends when specially moving forwards for your volleys. Here's a great video of Jamie Murray working on his transition volley. You can see that he's loading on his outside leg when pushing forwards. This is to help him increase the power of his volley while also moving forwards to the net. Finally, let's talk about the trusty return of serve. Exactly the same footwork is required. After you initiate your forward step, you're going to split load on the outside leg before driving and taking the ball on. It's great for absorbing speed and also keeping your body weight moving forwards. You can especially tell this from the way that my feet are moving. I'm moving roughly diagonally as I'm cutting the angles, moving forwards. Sometimes you may have to step out to the side when reaching on the wider balls, but it also helps you when stepping forwards and cutting the angle when attacking and being more offensive. So the saying goes, attack with your legs and, and defend with the hands, making sure that you're moving forwards and this is gonna help you massively. Let me show you a return of serve in motion. Split, out, in. Transition, same with the forehand. Step in, split, out, in. And practicing this over time will help you to be lower and wider and especially when cutting off the angle you're able to do it with much more efficient footwork hope that helps you guys
Now it's time to check out some of the pros in action when moving forwards. You can see that here Dan Evans is taking time away by cutting off the angle with stepping loading on his outside leg before stepping forwards down the court. This is to give them a lot better forwards momentum. If you found this video useful in helping you to develop a little stronger base when pushing from your legs and improving your weight transfer, then please leave a comment down below. Also be sure to like and subscribe as well. It really helps my channel. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys soon. Take care.